ago there was a, it was a time of great turbulence and I remember the first, uh, one of the first RT me meetings and all of the protests going on. At that time, uh, the RTRS was very much a sort of a two-country initiative. Shortly afterwards, then we had uh, Argentina and England joining, so it continued to be a World Cup kind of organization. Many NGOs, companies and farmers decided that it was uh, smarter, better to work together. And it was great belief that many things could be done better and smarter and more sustainable through cooperation in the supply chain. Our expectations with the round tables 10 years ago were high. It was an exercise in how you move groups and group thinking. Um, and there's real art to that, which I think most people in NGOs don't have. <laughs> and getting the, the industry engaged and working with farmers, and, and that was also very, very interesting. Mas o grande ponto era o que que se tratava de produção responsável quando a gente falava de soja. They were extremely, extremely intense conversations. In fact, they're some of the most intense conversations I've had in my whole life. Então a RTRS foi um fator fundamental para a gente para esse processo de discussão, porque a gente entendeu a produção de soja no mundo inteiro. That where and how we produce food is the biggest conservation issue of the 21st century, and that's why we developed these standards along with a lot of other groups. a lot of relationships that have been built, social capital, um, companies talking to NGOs that used to be arch enemies. I think that some of the stakeholder round tables have become rather successful and some have failed. I would rate RTRS as moderately successful. I had expected that demand would go faster for RTRS soy. That said, uh, demand is growing. Eu acho que normalmente as pessoas desistem rápido. E um processo multi-stakeholder como a RTRS é, ele não atinge o seu é, ponto principal em tão pouco tempo. We've helped really shift an understanding of what it is to be sustainable, what it is that continuous improvement is literally about a thousand small improvements. It's not about one big thing, it's not about only one thing. There's new types of uh, arrangements to create the demand that is essential for the roundtables to succeed uh, are moving forward. We need to focus on how to optimize several things rather than just maximize one thing like production or, or even just focus on deforestation. Sustainability is bigger than just that, even though that's a huge, a huge issue. Many of the round tables have not reached their ceiling, so saturation is not there yet. Então nesse momento eu vejo a RTRS pronta para ganhar escala. We still need a lot of new uh, areas in order to feed the world. In another 10 years from now, it will look probably even more different um, with a substantial share of world production of soy certified, but also getting to impacts well beyond the individual soy farm. A RTRS ela vai, pode criar um padrão de produção que garanta que a propriedade tem uma boa é, forma de gerenciamento. Quando você cria isso, você cria um padrão de produção responsável, não importa o produto. There will be a lot more mutual recognition between uh, seals, uh, certainly for sustainable uh, farming. But in many areas where lawmakers and law implementers are weak, voluntary schemes are still the best solution. Multi-stakeholder standards will continue to play a role in making markets more sustainable. At the same time, I see a growing awareness that governments should be involved in market transitions. Landscape management is an important uh, segment coming up. I think the RTRS could be a good convener bringing partners together. We have a kind of fork in the road. Either we develop a, an umbrella standard that is based on the learnings from the eight or ten ag and food standards we have today and turn out one common standard, or we actually work with governments to make the certification program is the law. The, the private companies that have come into the roundtables 
are very powerful spokespeople for telling political leaders we want sustainability to happen. I think that the RTRS, in the next 10 years, can help a lot to build a sustainable agriculture.